How were you contacted about returning to the WWE? Uh, it was a Royal Rumble, and I, they just contacted me. Said we want you to be a participant in the Royal Rumble. Are you in shape? I said yeah, and uh, they brought me in that way. And then uh, after that day, the next TV, the next day was TV shooting for uh, Raw, and me and Jim Ross sat down for contractual uh, talks and came to an agreement and went from there. How has the locker room, room atmosphere changed since the last time you were there? Well, I'm not there now, so I don't... No, know. no, when you, when you came back, when you, when you came back at the uh, Royal Rumble? It just depends, you know, if, 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 uh, if business is good, if the house shows are up, if they're doing good and everybody's happy, everybody's pleased with their matches and things like that, then, you know, everybody's pretty much taking care of their own and, and, and being kind and, and wonderful to everybody else. But, you know, if the if the, the, the crowds are down and if Vince McMahon is unpleased and if, you know, the office is just pleased and, you know, not pleased in general, then, yeah, that kind of puts puts everybody else in the locker room in a kind of a state of like, oh, God, we got to do something here, but what can we do? You know, I mean, and we can only do so much. And... Uh, yeah, you, you, you can see a difference, you know, the, the morale and the attitude of the people. But there are few, and, and I consider myself as one of those who try to keep the locker room up, you know, and being a goofy, uh, Richard Pryor type of, you know, Chevy Chase, whatever, um, just make everybody laugh in the locker room kind of guy to try to keep the morale up, you know. When you, when you came back that night, you were in much better shape than you were in WCW. What did you do to get back into that shape? I rode the treadmill, man, and, and as everybody knows me as Dusty Rhodes' son, and you, you look at my father, you know, he's barely ever touched a weight in his life, and you know how he is, you know how big he is, and he uses charisma, and the way he talked on, on camera and things like that, and it's kind of went the same with me. I never really lift a lot of weights. I did a little bit, but I, I did the treadmill, and, and, and I ran it hard, and I ate a no-carb diet for for like uh, a month and a half before I went back to WWF and I uh, lost 30 pounds just on that, you know, so I was in really good shape, but I wasn't muscle bound, you know, I wasn't Batista bound, that type of muscle, you know, I just, I'm tall, I have the gift of being tall, which was good, and I was in shape at that time, I could go without breathing, you know.